I V M. Hey everyone, how's the week going? I hope that you are ready for another positively unlimited dose, especially after the last episode where I made you see expectations from a whole new angle. <laughs> I did receive a lot of messages from you guys after that episode, so thank you so so much. And let me tell you that today's episode is going to make you look in the mirror as well. What do I mean by that? Well, if you heard the last episode, you would have realized that a lot of what I said was stuff that you needed to do, you needed to change, and not things that you were to change in your partner. Well, today's episode is also kind of similar to that. The reason being that if there's one thing I've realized about healing, especially healing relationships and healing romantic relationships, partnerships, marriages, you have to work on yourself. Till the time you are standing in the energy of my partner needs to change this and my partner needs to do that, the relationship cannot heal. Change has to begin from you. When you start changing your actions, then at some point, your partner's reactions and responses change. And when that happens, the outcome, the result, the experience changes. <laughs> it's a pretty simple formula to understand. But yes, it is very hard to do. Especially if you have been in a relationship that has been going through troubled times for a while. There are many wounds that need to heal. And that takes time. So as you listen to this episode today, first be kind to yourself. Then be kind to your partner and then be kind to the state of your relationship. Don't judge yourself, your partner or your relationship. Instead, see the wounds and treat the entire space and all involved with compassion and love because that's what a relationship is about, isn't it? Love. And that's why I chose today's topic. Today, I'm talking about fighting fair. What do I mean by that? <laughs> How does one fight fair? I mean, maybe so many of us aren't being unfair, or at least we don't think we are. Well, here's the thing. When you fight, when you argue with each other, rule number one, do not pull out the past. If you have gone through 40,000 fights before this, but you have decided to forgive, you've had conversations, you've moved on, then let it go. Do not go into a fight with statements like, you always do this. You're doing this again. Even that time you did this. That's not fighting fair. When you do that, you slam your partner's defensive button. His defenses are going to go up and he's going to, he or she rather, is going to come at you with similar stuff. So when you do that, you will force your partner to put his or her defenses up and then they will shoot similar arrows at you. And that in turn will cause the fight to go on to a different tangent and well, the crux of the matter is lost. What did you all start fighting about is forgotten. By the way, couples forgetting what they started to fight about is a normal thing. It happens to all of us. You start with something and somewhere in the middle, you find yourself in a whole different zone and somewhere towards the end, which is when you all are getting exhausted, you all don't even know what you all started fighting about. And that's another reason why it is important to fight fair. So rule number one was don't pull out the past. Don't make statements that pull out a person's past or the relationship's past. Rule number two, don't cross the line. Now, what do I mean by this? Every couple draws certain lines. There are certain things that you 
don't talk about during a fight. There are certain things that you don't throw at each other during a fight. Now, I don't have actual examples of this, but when you're listening to me, I'm sure those pieces are flashing in your mind. Make a note of it. Do not hit below the belt. Do not cross the line. You're not trying to break someone's spirit, especially not the person who you love. And you are not trying to pull their character down. So be careful. Crossing the line also means being abusive. Do not cross the line. Now, these are two really big don'ts. How about I tell you a few of the do's? When you are fighting fair, you know when to call a timeout. Yes, timeouts are legit. They don't mean that the partner does not want to solve the problem. It does not mean that the partner is trying to escape. Timeouts are legit ways to fight and actually healthier ways to sort out an unresolved issue because it allows both partners to walk away, breathe, regain composure and come back to a more constructive conversation. So if you need to call a timeout, call it. Another do, and you may have heard this in another episode as well, is to express what your partner's actions are making you feel rather than calling out your partner's actions in a judgmental tone. So instead of pointing fingers saying you do this and you do that, how about you try saying when you do this, you make me feel this. So please don't do it. And I'm going to give you the biggest piece of fighting fair. Please be clear of what is the outcome that you want and what is important. You know, when we fight, we tend to forget what actually matters. And when we cool down, that is the piece that hits us the most. So please be very aware of what actually matters. Why did I ask you then to be aware of the outcome that you want? So that you can figure out whether the outcome is more important or what really matters is more important. And you can have your conversation accordingly. So there you have it. Few of my rules of fighting fair. I hope that this perspective helps you to change the way you are communicating in your relationship. That is what this week's episodes have been all about. However, I will also give you a little bonus. Episode 6 of Date Night, which is a video series I've put up on my Instagram, is about fighting fair. And while some of the things that I said in that episode and in today's episode here on this podcast may be the same, the examples are different and it gives you more perspective. So make sure you head to my Instagram and tune into episode 6 of Date Night series. Also, while you are tuned into this cycle of A to Z on the podcast, Make sure that you watch all the episodes on my Date Night series as well. The Date Night series was actually the inspiration for this cycle of A to Z. So those 10 episodes have a lot of helpful tips and relationship hacks as well. And on that note, I'm going to head out from here. I hope that you don't experience any kind of fight this week in your relationship. But if you do, have the presence of mind to apply the rules of fighting fair. Whether your partner understands it or not, in the beginning, you may find him or her being taken aback and responding exactly how they always do. But if you stick with these rules of fighting fair, then eventually you will see their way of communicating in an angry situation, in a conflict, also start to change. On that note, I will tell you this. All previous episodes are available on the IBM website and IBM app. You can connect with us on Instagram and Twitter. Our handle is IBM Podcast. And you can connect with me on Instagram. My handle is Positivity Angel.
I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And speaking of Instagram, Niharika Pandey joined Ciders this week on Ciders Says. Niharika is the strategic partner manager for Instagram India. Great conversation about the plans for Instagram in India. Karanjit Kaur joined the guys at Uncle Please Sit. Another really interesting conversation about the patriarchy. On Advertising is Dead, old friend Sujitha Salwan showed up. Sujitha is the founder of LBB. Great conversation she had with Varun. Definitely do check that out as well. Tanvi Laad, who is a nationally ranked badminton player, was on The Habit Code with Ashton Doctor. Great conversation. I would highly, highly recommend that. The Football Shoot Wall guys are back. They've been back for a few weeks, but definitely do check out their latest episode. Great, great conversation they had on Aditi Surana's Absolutely Right. Manju Sara Rajan was the guest. And again, a great conversation was to be had over there. As always, great conversations all across the board. Check out some of the other stuff like Smile India, Know Your Kanun, and All Things Policy. All of them had fresh episodes this week. But with that, I hope to see you again next week. Beta, did you know 79% of all scientists in NASA are Indian only? Look, India mein tax is only middle class. Hai. Everyone is just enjoying free, yaar. Aaj kar ke youngsters are only interested in partying and enjoying. Unko desh ki padi hi nahi hai. Beta, tum bas shadi kar lo. Uske baad to you can enjoy life like anything. I will tell you what this country needs. This country needs 15 years of dictatorship. That is the only, the only way to become a superpower. See the Chinese, how much they've progressed. So now, tumne ye WhatsApp forward dekha. So what's common between all of these statements? They're all absolutely rubbish. Fake WhatsApp forwards that spread like wildfire. And statements that defy any logic. They are here to debunk them all. Where are family WhatsApp groups? Worst nightmare. Where what happens when you read a book? Basically, we're just a bunch of guys who want to cut through the bullshit of everyone saying this, how it won't be true. So that the next time someone confidently squeezes out some WhatsApp or Twitter BS, you can look them dead in the eye and go, Uncle... Please sit. So join me, Joel. And me, Tushar. Every Mondays for a fresh new episode of Uncle, Please Sit.